Hello friends. Um, today we are going to learn how to integrate YouTube API in Android using Kotlin. So let's start it. I created a simple Android project with support Kotlin. So here is my basic structure. Let's let's start to de design the layout. Design the layout here is the layout of so let's put the button here button web content web content it btn play uh, text play video so here is the um, before going to further we need some yes youtube edit player api download yeah i already downloaded it i go to the folder and i extract it here lives you need a youtube player api dot jar file let's add it to the our let's add into the our api let's change the project structure lips folder okay here i already paste to my jar file so let's uh, shrink the project press the f4 to go to dependency add jar dependency select our lips uh, select our youtube a uh, jar file from our lips okay okay let's get shrink projects it is sync okay sync has been done now well, let's add youtube player youtube player let's add web content and here is a i id id youtube player so Furthermore, we need two things: uh, video ID, which we want to play, and YouTube API ID. So let's create our companion object to access all over the file. Let's uh, well, which oh, let's for ID here as a as a string. And, uh, here is a we will. Let's add video ID and YouTube API key as a string. And here is a API ID one. This is the eight. Let's create one for init UI. Create a function. Control plus. Create a function. Fill it. We need initializer. So let's uh, well YouTube YouTube player initializer as a as a YouTube player dot on initialize right and, and object. Let's make it here. You need let you need where YouTube player in as a YouTube player initializer. One. So let's initialize it. YouTube in init equal to object object uh, fire right we need to or write to method so control plus into that method yeah, let's delete it let's delete it 
Let's rename the player. YouTube to player. Fine. So we need we initialize YouTube player dot load video. I need video ID which we will define uh, soon. So here it is a uh, we need to check video player not equal to null. So it is very simple in it is very simple in Kotlin. Just hit just add the question mark to check. In case of the failure we will we will show the test like test application context uh, something went wrong and wrong and the length of post here it is land so not so fine so this is the it we initialize plus play video while user click the button so in Kotlin we no need to define the button we directly start like between player let's set on click list now on click list now view and here we what we can do we define YouTube player we have the YouTube player YouTube player dot initialize we need we provide two we need to provide two parameter one is a uh, our YouTube API key which we define uh, YouTube API key API key and the listener listener object which we make just now so here is done let's let's need two things YouTube API key and video id so go to the go to the web so here you need just this is the video video id you go to the any uh, any any video of youtube and from copy that id here i select that id and first now i need a youtube api key so let's go to the console here I uh, here I already uh, register my project in Google Console and uh, create the key. So let's put here. Okay. So you, if you don't know how to register your your application in Google Play API, just go just go to the Google. Google uh, type uh, Google console API and go to the Google project. And here you can check all the things. Select your project. I create a demo project. And here is API library. You need to go to YouTube. And here is a YouTube data api key v3 okay you need to enable it i i already enable it so i i can see the two different object but if you don't if you did not uh, enable then you will get the enable enable button over here so uh, once enable you will see that and get the api key and put it there right so let's run the application and check how it is work oh one thing i forgot i need to give permission to use internet so go to the manifest and use permission just permission internet right without it we cannot play the video Fine. Uh, there is a thing okay so let's run again so this is the very basic basic demonstration how to uh, how to Uh, 
how to create a YouTube player for your own. thing we forgot we need to extend YouTube base activity YouTube base activity so this is the main things let's run again application let's run again let's get us finish installing APK Launching the application. Okay, our application is launched. Let's play the video. Yes, let's see. Our video is play. We find. Fine. It is flying. So, thank you very much for watching. Watching video.